These days, only a real dummy would cough without covering their mouth. Just as well, then, this is one. With the government now hinting that some kind of face covering could help slow the spread of COVID-19, Lucas, the medical mannequin, is helping establish just how much difference masks might make. I was very surprised to see that there is so much still that we do not know. And I was very surprised about the complications and how complicated it is actually to uh, take some decisions or take some, so draw some conclusions about what we should be doing or not. Three weeks ago, scientists, engineers and frontline medical staff here at the University of Edinburgh began working together on the problem, adapting techniques typically used to study air flowing over an aeroplane wing or a Formula One car. So really here, you're not looking at an individual particle. You are looking at the culmination of many, many particles, right? So this is more like a gas cloud coming from a person's mouth. And within here, an infected person, this would actually have the COVID-19 particle in there. Using this specialist equipment, you can see how the simple act of talking spreads large volumes of air containing viruses from my breath quite long distances. And perhaps not surprisingly, putting a mask on prevents that from happening. But it doesn't necessarily inform us as to whether we should all be wearing them or not. So far, they've analysed seven different masks, including ones used in the NHS and homemade cloth ones. They found any mask makes a difference reducing the distance travelled by a deep breath out by at least 90%. But scientists still don't know if the virus is mainly spreading in big droplets that masks can easily catch, or through the air, which virtually no mask can stop. You have a jet of flow coming out of your mouth, can penetrate the air by several metres. If you wear a mask, you destroy this jet, and you redirect it. Mm. So if you breathe, it doesn't matter how far it goes, it will still be there. But provided people don't see face covering as an alternative to social distancing, it seems the government has been persuaded to give it the benefit of the doubt. You need to make sure the message is clear that you still need to be doing physical distancing if you're able to, that it's not like it's 100% protective if you have it. It's one you know, small measure in a package of measures that we're trying to do. For most of us, covering our faces will come down to common sense. But if people don't improvise and start depleting limited stocks of masks for medical staff, the measure could do more harm than good.